Michael was on the low side coming oh, in for two. two. And around goes Earnhardt up in the air and over. Both cars land on their wheels. But Trickle and Earnhardt Jr. go for a wild ride down the back straightaway of Daytona. He must have gotten hit from behind and shot right straight into Earnhardt's car. And you see Earnhardt's car lift, sets back down on the hood of Dick Trickle's car, then comes back down on his wheels. I'm not sure what the Olympic judges would give that landing, but it was a wild one. Let's take another look. You see Trickle right there. That's Buckshot Jones behind the two of them as they come off the corner there. Hey, we'll follow this on down through here a little bit and see what they're side by side. Here comes Buckshot with a great run off the corner. You see him coming up right there. He touches Trickle in the right rear corner into the three of Dale Earnhardt Jr. Up in the air. Look at this. Johnny, Johnny Sauter, Sauter inside oh, his three wide. Forced his way to the middle. Middle of three. Your middle of three. Come on, third team. You got a guy coming to you. Not over. Keep digging. They're crashing roads in the crafting. Keep digging. Damn. Crafting up and over. And Castrala looks to me like will win this race. It was a very aggressive push. Yeah, it looked like Grant Enfinger was trying to help. Ooh, look at Matt Crafton up and over. There's Johnny Sauter up in the middle of the mess. Grant Enfinger was pushing right there when the track flattens out. Yeah. Around goes the 27, catches Crafton, who thought he was home free. Exactly in that spot where you said you didn't want to be pushed, where the track changes a little bit of that elevation. It's so I think there's a problem. Uh, oh, there's trouble. Oh, oh, one car out of control all the way up and over is the number 29. Robert Presley. Around goes Presley, and he picks it up. Wow. That had to be a... Robert Presley ride. in an Oh My Heart ride. Took scuba Doo for a ride, didn't he? Keep going, keep going. You doing billboards? Well, you can see he's already off on the grass, Bob. The car gets up in the air, comes down, bounces around. The deck lid flies off of it. There, finally, the roof flap comes up as he turns backwards. Good bit of damage done to the McDonald's Ford. To his game plan, and now here he is getting ready to battle for the win at Daytona. Got a side-by-side -side battle for the lead. Whoa, whoa. Price, early on, Chad Chaffin gets spun around and upside down. Chaffin back onto his wheels, and we were on board with Dennis Setzer. Dennis made some contact. Looks like he was trying to bump draft him, and he got Chad turned around. There's Terry Cook after such a great effort. He was involved in that. Complaining about being loose. But this slow motion here, you see, he looks like he hits him pretty square, but it looks like his bumper rides up underneath the back bumper of Chad Chaffin, and that may be why it turned him around. It might have picked the rear wheels off the ground, Michael. And then all four wheels were off the ground. And yeah, it definitely eventually picked them off, didn't it? See, Dennis is going to get in the back of Chad. You see, Chad, he, it pushes him a little bit sideways. Then, then Dennis actually turns him around after Chad comes back to the bottom of the racetrack, and way up in the air he goes. Here comes Terry Cook. Joining him for a slide through the grass. It's like Robert Huffman might have gotten the back of Terry Cook. I see some damage to the front of that truck. 